You've only got to look and listen to be quite sure that all these young people have got help. They're most definitely with it. This is a high-class joint. But everywhere, the cats have their own little places where they live the gospel that this is the age of the teenager. Oh, love, why don't they understand this new world called love? Why don't they understand? Youth 1958 with a lingo of its own. What's it got to say for itself? This is us, see? We're today. If you don't dig us, shoot away some square joint with the rest of the creeps. Well, why not stick around and get with it? From that club to Lady Lewisham's a far cry. But wait. Lady Lewisham, what do you think about our teenagers? I think they're splendid. And I'm delighted you've asked me that question, because I sometimes think they get rather a raw deal. Well, why? I've met very many teenagers up and down the country when I've been travelling around and I've been always particularly struck by their enthusiasm about everything, by their new ideas. I like the idea that they want to wear gay clothes and it is in this country ideas that we certainly need and I think that after all one must remember the extraordinary things that one's parents and grandparents did all their latest crazies which seem to us just as extraordinary now i'm always very bored with people who say oh young people aren't what they were in my day <laughs> teenagers guys and dolls can be trained in a few weeks to earn eight or ten pounds a week the shops know it so every town has a store with teenage departments thriving on giving the young people the fashions they demand distinctive teenage fashions all this is within bounds. To find the dress revolutionaries, you have to seek the neighborhood of those joints again. And if the get-up seems to border on the outlandish, why not look on them as the beginnings of something new? One result may be that males will at last throw off the tyranny of the drab loud suit. With the other sex, anything's possible. The gramophone industry cashes in on the well-off teenagers to some tune. 80% of the disc output is bought by the youngsters. That's 50 million records a year in Britain alone. All industry knows that to please the teenagers is the golden way to big dividends. And the objects of the mass hero worship, theirs is popularity with a capital P. To get a brief glimpse of them is practically heaven itself. Liberace, even his mother isn't more devoted to him than his teenage fans. As for Frankie Vaughan, well, what can be said in mere words? The cats grab life with both hands and do their best to live it 100% 24 hours a day. Life lies before them. They've got vitality, hip, and they're certainly with it. And the best of luck. <laughs>